Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of NAE. The new account experience, this is season 2. And if I were to make a guess about which episode it's gonna be, I think it's number 18. But I don't know. This is pretty much just a simple life commentary at this point. I'm not really trying to make this account, like good or showing you the steps i'm i'm just kind of doing my own thing but this worked quite nicely for a live commentary so i'm just gonna stick with that i suppose anyway i do have an account here and um yeah i uh, here's the thing why i'm saying that i'm not really trying is simply because i don't go here often and all of the events and shit i completely missed out on that so i don't really care about this account which is kind of a shame it's a good account and all, but eh, I have other things to do. I have too many plans and programs and stuff to do. You know? I have too much to do, okay? This isn't about me complaining, though. This is me playing for a bunch, and that's what I'm going to be doing. Now, here, before we start, I want to quickly um, point some attention to a little bit of a thing. I guess I can talk about it while I play. Why would I waste time? Anyway... Tomorrow, we're going to get... There's going to be a Shatters event. Now, the Shatters event is already ongoing. I'm talking about the event that my guild, Content, is going to have with the Discord, Wonderland. Now, those two have partnered up it before and uh, created some pretty spicy moments in uh, a stream that I did. Uh, I had that stream for about two hours... And it's my last video, other than this one. Uh, it's the it's the void event stream. I there was no clever naming involved at all. But long story short, uh, you guys, if you're into longer content, then you can easily just uh, you know sh stop on by and watch it, uh, grab popcorn and stuff, and just just do whatever you want. That's completely fine, that's up to you. But uh, it's a little bit underrated in my opinion. I don't stream very often and I don't really get any viewers to be fair. Not little, I don't get any. Which is kind of sad, but I know why it happens. I'm not known for streaming. YouTube isn't the best platform to stream on to begin with. And at the same time, well, I don't have a pattern or a schedule or nothing. So it's really not great. But, uh, and the quality also, uh, it's, it's, not, it's just not that impressive. But, uh, here's a short moment that I want you to see. Um, that happened right at the end of it. Um, and I, the reason, one of the reasons why I wanted to bring it up is because, well, you know, a lot of people were streaming as well. Or, or at least recording. Uh, mainly Spencer and Flo was there as well, Flo Florian. Um, so... I, we kind of just, it, it was a lot of fun. It was honestly a lot of fun. The people, the wonderful people over at Wonderland, they allowed us to, to actually be in the voice chats, the voice channels, with the raid leaders and just talk, be unmuted and shit. And it was actually hilarious. It generated some awesome content, guys. Pun intended. Pun very much intended. But anyway, I just find it funny how I died on uh, both Silver Doll's stream, like, years ago. And on uh, on Spencer's stream, yeah. <laughs> and and uh, it was my night. That's kind of one of the other connections. Because I'm playing on a night right now. I wanted to play on a night. Feels a little bit sad because the other night that I had. The 8 out of 8 night that I had on the account DNP Pro. Which is the one that's in the guild. Which is the one that I play on the most recently. That account, uh, that account's night died. And it was in the most spectacular way. I'm just gonna show it to you right now. Keep on going up, take the first left, take this left here, take this left here and then go up. Take this oh wall room. What? We're only gonna break up. We're only gonna break up. We're only breaking up this time. Okay? Keep on going up. Take this left here. Take this left here. Take this left here. Go left again if it does. It goes left. Go left here. Go left again. Left. Guys, that's the wrong left. Keep on going left, and then here we're gonna take this down. Oh, F. Oh. Trickster, stay behind in decoy. 
Trickster, stay behind and decoy. Yeah, there's a crusade on our ass, dude. Why did we lose half the group up there? What the? Yeah, I, what <laughs> actually? What happened don't know there? What left is. Actually, yeah. <laughs> like I'd understand if they went right, but they went up. What? what the oh hell? God. Oh, oh, bro! Oh, <laughs> no, I died. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, I'm clipping it. So I recorded it, I even streamed oh it. My, my night, God. dude! What the <laughs> fuck? No, what the dude! Fuck? What the fuck? I'm gonna, suspend, I'm gonna suspend everyone that was up there. So basically, right, what happened? I'm gonna try to summer it down. Uh, the raid leaders called out uh, to go left, I believe it was, and some groups just went up. Because they don't know what left is, apparently. Can't blame them, uh, been there many times before, especially because I rotate my screen and sometimes you go down in Lost Halls and that completely, uh, well it screws over everything because suddenly you, you have to, you know, you, you think of left as right and instead of left, it's confusing, but people went up instead of left, which is just weird, and they ended up dragging a crusade over to the Marble Defender, and <laughs> let me tell you, it was not a good sight. There's also a very cool moment somewhere in the middle of the stream where where we, where we were in the Marble Defender and a fucking spooky boy comes out and just just fucking plays with all of us. It was, it was, it was a lot of fun, not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun on that stream. But now here's the thing that I was trying to talk about before. And that's the fact that uh, we're going to be having another stream. I'm gonna be having another stream tomorrow uh, and it's going to be do running the shatters uh, event obviously uh, I'm also probably going to have the role of uh, content creator on the Wonderland discord and I'm going to be able to talk in the voice chats with my other guildmates so we're just gonna be do doing a bunch of shatters on stream tomorrow I don't know when because the event information right the communication about this entire event not gonna lie to you it's it's not great. The communication within the guild as a whole right now, it's not it's not great. Okay, we're ha we had some events, okay? There, this is going to be the third guild event that we have. The second one with Wonderland, but the communication is still missing. Like we don't know when it starts. We don't know if we get the rolls back. We don't know if we can come on random classes like before cuz here's the thing, right? If you know nothing about Wonderland, let me tell you. They have some re Ridiculous, and I do mean ridiculous requirements. All right, mainly, you you have to okay. So four classes are basically completely crossed out. I believe it's assassin, necromancer, sorcerer, and one other class. They're just completely like, nope, sorry, it doesn't matter what the fuck you have on that class. You're not allowed to join this run, and I didn't know that. I came on a night, and uh, the night actually, to be fair, it was the closest one. To, ha to actually passing the requirements, but it still wasn't even close to passing the requirements. You gotta have like a cutlass or a splendid sword, splendor, sword of splendor, yeah. I didn't have that, or the colossal sword also didn't have that. And also, you, you have to have like a crown or mercy's bane. I, the only thing I had basically, I had the mercy's bane. That was, that was it, that I had the mercy's bane, but that's as much as I could have to my name. And someone called Tive, 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 I don't know. Um, actually, just I was I was about to join a run. It was on one of the streams. I, I say one of the streams for a reason. Trust me. Let me get into that. I'll get I'll beg I'll get back to that. But basically, uh, on one of my streams, the failed ones. Uh, what the fuck? How do you die in a snake pit? You're level twenty, boy. What the fuck you doing? Hold on, I want. <laughs> Oh, the snakes were too much for him. Oh, boy. Oh, anyway. Well, that's kind of sad, but... Anyway, I finally, after like half an hour of streaming, going from server to server and being late and shit, I finally managed to join a run. And guess what happens? I get scouted out, Hey, buddy, you're not passing the requirements. And at that time, I already had the content creator role. On the Discord. And I didn't fucking know that that was a like a thing like i knew i even asked for the content creator role so i knew that that's a thing but i didn't know what the benefits of it were well turns out right that the benefits of it get this 
you get to come on any class. The problem with communication, this is where it ties back in. No one fucking told me I could go on any class. Nobody told me that. So what I do, like the good boy that I am, I, I just... I left out of the run. <laughs> I left my stream hanging. And just stopped streaming at that point, because I was like, yeah, I don't pass the requirements, why the fuck would I stream? And then Teeve himself, or Tive, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say your name, man. He, he actually PM, DMs me on Discord, saying like, oh my god, I didn't realize we were having an event with you guys from content, you have a content creator tag and shit, I'm so sorry I kicked you for the run. <laughs> he fret, he low-key threatened to suspend me for a week, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of, it's kind of, I, I was intimidated, I'm not gonna lie. But let me tell you the story of my streams, right? So here's what happened on the day. <laughs> someone, somebody knows. Someone, someone is well aware. Um, but, um, yeah, so, so basically, right? Oh, I'm kind of scared, I don't want to get run over by this train. Don't really even feel like doing this, to be honest with you. Um, there you go, that's what I wanted to be in. Here's where I wanted to be. Now, I started streaming, and I was streaming for like five minutes. For the first time. That was the first stream of the day. What happened? Simple. I started streaming too early. Because, lack of communication. I didn't know when the event actually starts for us, the content boys, in the Wonderland Discord. So I started streaming about 45 minutes too early, and... Here's the thing about me, some of you OGs out there know, and that's basically the only people who watch me at this point. The people who really know me at this point. So some of you may know, it's 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 not your fault, I, I kind of killed my own channel with inactivity, but that's besides the point. The people who know me will, will know and can confirm this, but I am heavily introverted. So here's why I don't stream too much. I don't stream too much because I physically can't. I If I stream, if I play with people, because that's how you fucking play. I can't play alone, it's just too boring alone, dude. If I'm with people for more than two hours, I am absolutely fucking spent. And for an introvert, what does that mean? Well, let me tell you. I basically become super low energy. And as soon as I'm out of the call, I fall into a deep depression. So it's not ideal. It's really not. But uh, it is a lot of fun when I'm st still able to do it. It's not that I always hit it from the beginning. It's just that I can't do it for very long. And that's, that's typically how streams work. You stream for a certain amount of time. Which is something I couldn't do. So again, going back to my streaming story. I started streaming about 45 minutes too early. And like some other people could be like, oh, well, I'm just gonna stream for the 45 minutes, get some viewers going, you know? That is the right way. <laughs> that is how you stream, my friends. If you if you think like that, then congrats, you can be a streamer any day that you, you, what you want. Basically, you, you got it in the bag. But for someone like me, I could not just stream for 45 minutes. I could stream, like, don't get me wrong, I could stream for 45 minutes, but that's it. Like, I can't... I can't anymore after that, and the event was just about to start, so I just basically said, fuck it, I'm ending the stream early. The second time I started streaming, I straight up was told to go home by Thief or Tive, and I just, I was messing around, was unable to actually do anything or get even in a single run. So what I ended up doing is just, I was like, after half an hour of nothing happening, because I know that these streams eventually get uploaded as a video. That's why I didn't upload one video. Um, in one of those days, I had a stream and a video, basically. But the stream... I'll count a stream as a video upload. And I'm uploading videos daily recently, in case you didn't know that. Well, now you know. Uh, but, yeah, so... I, I basically, I just... I just streamed for like half an hour and nothing happened. And I was like, you know what? This is stupid. Then... Because, so, here's, here's the thing. I know that those videos eventually get uploaded to YouTube. So, I, I wanted to go to my YouTube Creator Studios, and I wanted to just cut it short. I wanted to make sure that that never sees the light of day, if you want what I'm saying. Because I know that some people have the uh, notifications turned on on my channel or something, and if I upload a video, which is a stream re-upload, which YouTube kind of does automatically if you stream on YouTube, 
which is a good thing because I don't gotta worry about it, or even record it for that matter, but it is still annoying because, well, I have to stop it if the stream went bad, basically, so that's kind of what happened. And so I just kind of completely messed up with my streams, deleted it completely out of existence, but I also deleted the upcoming streams. For those who don't know YouTube, if you stream, and you're gonna stream a second time or some other time later on, then that's YouTube kind of already takes it as an upcoming stream. It's like a few, it's on YouTube Studios. It's basically like a stream, but it's just not active yet. Hard, hard to explain. But long story short, I deleted that too, which resets your streamer key, and that's something you need to put in your OBS in order to be able to stream. So I tried streaming two more times. You press the OBS setting for streaming and everything. What ended up happening is that I wasn't streaming at all. And uh, those were two more streams that failed <laughs> miserably. But the event that we had with Wonderland, us, we, the content boys, hello, uh, that event lasted one day, right? It was that day on the day when I was failing all those streams. But I didn't know that it was only for one day. However, I didn't give up, and I'm pretty fucking proud of that. As an introvert, it means a lot to me. Maybe it doesn't mean shit to you, but I didn't give up. After four failed stream attempts, I didn't give up. I went back. I went back and streamed for the fifth time, which ended up lasting for two hours. And I was in a stream. I was streaming well past midnight. And... Uh, was on Spencer's stream and everyone was streaming. It was a bunch of it was a bunch of fun. Not gonna lie, it was it was a lot a lot of fun. So, to make long story short, I don't know what the moral of the story is. I, I'm just pretty proud of myself because I I didn't give up. For an introvert, this is kind of a big deal. And long story short, it's it's just what it is. Now. Um, so that's my little content story for you. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun on the Discord. I would like to thank my best friend, Afro, uh, <laughs> that, uh, for actually inviting me onto the Discord channel. It was very nice of him. And, uh, yeah, I've been pumping out a lot of content, uh, not only from content to the guild, but also just a lot of content in general. Uh... As you can see, I've been uploading daily, uh, some, you don't, you don't even ask, so I'm gonna just tell you anyway. But, um, I actually did it because of the coronavirus, basically. I, I felt obligated to make content while everyone's home, because people don't know what to do with their free time, and some people might be in need. So I figured it would be a good thing to do to just provide some content for people. That's literally my reasoning for making content right now. But also, as some of you may know, I also kind of tend to make videos in in phases where I I make a vid I make videos for like a month or so, and then I just stop for like two months, and then I come back for another week or two, and then I just stop. I, it's just how I function as a human being at this point. It's uh, it's nothing special, to be fully honest with you. Uh, I'm kind of sad that I have to be like this, but I am like this. But so it just so happened to line out pretty li line up pretty well with the uh, coronavirus because well, I wanted to make content for people who are in need and just want some entertainment since they're home and shit. Uh, and also it just lined up because I wanted to make videos at the time, so it was a pretty nice coincidence. My Terraria series, you know what? It does have kind of a, it's there's a bit of a problem with the amount of views that it's getting which is not many it's around 30 per video but i feel like i've had a i've had enough different people tell me that they enjoy watching the series that i'm just gonna continue it and uh honestly i'm having a bunch bunch of fun with it too i am very bad very and i mean very bad i'm very bad at terraria so expert terraria expert vanilla terraria would have been more than enough of a challenge for me but no, I had to go Calamity, and I had to go Revengeance, because of course, why why, why not? I don't know. 
the point is that it's it's way too much for me, but I still feel like I can do at least a bunch of the bosses. Like the modded ones, alright? And that, that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm not even trying to, 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 to do the entirety of it. I don't even think I can. Well, maybe I can. Not to sell myself short, but I really don't think I have the capability to even do that. But whether I do or not, that's not really... That's not really what's important here. What's important here is the fact that I'm trying my best and, well, I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I feel like people are actually starting to warm up to the series a little bit. I did make, like, what was it, 11 episodes now, so that's pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, there's a lot of news involving me, and lately I haven't been doing many uh, live commentaries, but to be fair with you, and this is stalking for so much more time, like, I, I have so much to tell you about these specific things, but basically, the type of content I'm most proud of are my, are my, are my funny montages, and uh, I've been making those for content, and they've been hilarious. I've been putting a lot of effort into them, and you guys are loving them as well. So I, I like, and, and you know what? Most importantly to me, to be fully honest with you, uh, the people over in content, uh, they really like those videos. Like, they, they appreciate me putting in the effort. And that feels hella good, I'm not, not even gonna lie to you. But uh, basically, those are the videos that I'm the most proud of. So, that's what I tend to, uh, to work on the most. But I've also been uploading quite regularly. I believe three episodes were quite regular now. Um... RTMG Hardcore. I've been actually working quite hard on that, making sure that, you know, I actually get some of it out. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, we already finished recording it. Uh, it has a quite surprising outcome, I believe. It's it's a pretty interesting way. Uh, it's a pretty interesting series, and it takes a long, long time for me to finish. So, those videos aren't frequent as much, and recently I've been mainly working on my content montages, not really anything else. Also, I, I'm working on Hardcore a little bit from time to time, you know. Episode 6 will come out, I believe, like within a week or two. I don't want to say anything, no matter what. Uh, I hope you enjoy the live commentary. These are a bit, these tend to be a bit more relaxed. I hope you guys appreciate the vibes, the calm vibes. I felt pretty chill today, I'm not going to lie. So, uh, I feel like this is pretty, pretty aight. Uh, my thoughts on Exol, I made one video about it, but that wasn't very structured, I feel like. My god, I feel like there's too, too much to talk about here. Uh, I have to make another live commentary. I don't have that much to say about Exalt, to be fully honest. Except for one thing. I fucking love it, alright? I fucking love it. So, sorry for the dramatic thing. Uh, anyway, I, I love it. I, I could not be any happier with it. Honestly, well, I do get lagged out. Rubber Band did when I'm doing voids, but, you know, that that's fine. That's fine. You know, that's fine. It can't all be perfect, right? Oh, well, but I, I am really enjoying Exalt, and I know I haven't really been talking much about it. But, um, yeah, man, I've been, I've been really enjoying playing on this. And I'm really happy with the new life that this game suddenly has. Because people are, you know, th at the beginning, when Exalt was, like, only closed beta, right? People were saying, like, oh my god, it's, it's actually like a game now. And I, I was so confused about that. Until I was streaming the Void event... And had to go back to Flash because I couldn't do it otherwise. Because I kept lagging out. I don't lag out on Exalt, like, at all. Except, except when I'm doing Voids, apparently. But I had to go back to Flash just for the Void event. And I gotta tell you, folks. Fuck Flash, alright? Fuck Flash. There's a certain nostalgia that I have with it. And on the last day of Flash's existence, on the 31st... Maybe not the 31st. I'm gonna upload it on the 31st. But it's not gonna be actually on the 31st. But on the 31st, I'm gonna... Of, obviously, of December 2020. If we make it that far, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna be making a live commentary on Flash. 
just for the final time, just for the nostalgia, because I've been playing on Flash for eight years. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of a big deal to me. But anyway, I don't want this video to get dragged out. Long story short, I love Exalt. I'm, I'm very, very happy with it. I'm starting to understand what people meant about the. Oh, it's actually a game now. Yeah, I can, I can tell now. The music. Oh my god, I've been loving the music. Didn't even have a chance to tell you that. Anyway. So much to talk about, so little time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching as always, and I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.